Hi, this is Victor Wong again. I'm the uh, CEO of Music Computing, and I'm sitting here with the control blade again. But this time, I'm not going to use it to do uh, audio. I'm going to use it to do uh, HD video editing. Uh, if you didn't know, it's a great tool to do that too. So imagine how awesome this product is when you can uh, sit there and create your music and do a full music production, turn right around and then do HD video editing. Uh, what we've done is we just got done shooting uh, the video for the first uh, make a beat using uh, the control blade, this very control blade. And now we're going to turn right around and use it to actually edit the video that you're going to see online. Uh, and uh, it's a pretty cool deal. So um, same setup, we didn't change anything. The only difference is we added a piece of software. Um, I use uh, something called uh, Vegas from Sony. Uh, you can use Premiere or something else, whatever you want to use. Um, so we loaded the software in it, being that it's a Windows 7 uh, system. You can load any software that runs on Windows 7. So let me go ahead and launch the application. And again, it's uh, Sony Vegas. And there you go. And there is my new project that I'm going to select here. Uh, it's already preset to what I want, which is the HD resolution. And we're ready to go. Uh, first thing is we went ahead and filmed the uh, making the beat um, video along with the audio. So they're kind of put together and then put into the camera itself. So we're going to be able to grab that entire file with both the, both the audio and the video already on it. Um, so let me find that right here. And there we go. And there it is. Now the first thing we want to do is to snip the beginning and the end of it. Uh, we were able to do it in one take, so we got pretty lucky on this. Um, and what I would imagine is probably where uh, I started talking or st here is where it is. So let me look here. Hey, testing, testing. Uh, testing All the right. mic. Great. Okay, so let me go ahead. So right there, okay, so let me go ahead. It's probably where I want to be. I'm going to scrub this. And I'm moving this back and forth again. This is a full HD video, and uh, this is the entry level i3 processor version. We're not having any problems dealing with HD video at this point. So, lots of processing power. Only 4 gigs of RAM, also. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and come up here to the edit and hit split. And what that does is it takes this section here and cuts it out, and I can delete it. And now I have the beginning of my video. And I'm going to do the same thing, do the same thing on the uh, back end of it. And there you go. And it's probably where the music stops. So probably right there, I'm going to go ahead and scrub it over here once again. No problems at all, moving it on the timeline here. Uh, probably right there is good. I'm going to hit split again and select and delete. So now I've kind of trimmed the beginning and the end uh, and uh, have my video in place. It's about 15 minutes and 55 seconds, so uh, a little bit longer than what uh, YouTube um, allows for. So we'll snip a little bit more uh, later on down the road. Um, the next thing we want to do is really ungroup these things. Um, actually, you know what? Um, we also um, where it's able to screen capture what was happening on the screen. So let me bring that video in uh, into my project here. Let me bring it back to the beginning. And that would be under here. And we drag this in here. And let's put this here. Now there's also an audio section here. I'm going to drag down here. Now this audio we really don't need. Um, let me go and select everything. And then I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it. Um, which means uh, remove from uh, remove from group, and let me see if I'll let me delete that uh, one. And uh, let's see, delete. Let's see. Um, okay, like this one. Let's delete it. There we go. Don't need that audio because that audio was from the screen capture. Uh, so now I have the screen capture video, the actual video and also the audio from the video. Uh, now I need to sync the um, screen capture video 
uh, with the actual video. And once I do that, it should all lock in place, and I can just snip and cut pieces and edit as I need to without having to resync everything. So um, let me see here. One of the things I said, as I remember, is something about uh, starting a new project. So let's find that. The control blade, uh, control surface, so it's going to know and use the control blade and also the audio section. So let me go and select a new song. Ah, select a new song. That's about 16 seconds right over here. Now let me find on this video up here, which is the, um, the screen capture, uh, where it starts showing the song. Studio One Sorry. Pro Sorry. software. Uh, real quick on this, um, because we're assuming, uh, for those of you who ah, are right there. ready Let's to see. bear with us, um, as we do more videos in the series, so it gets uh, progressively more uh, advanced. And uh, anyway, right there, around 45 here, go ahead and start here, the sounds we have, uh, anyways, so uh, is where I start clicking, uh, anyways, right there. So, so I'm going to go ahead and split this here also, uh, right there. And I'm going to go ahead and take this section out, uh, delete. And I'm going to move this back to about 19. Uh, where I said that I was going to, uh, well, I'm 16, I'm sorry, uh, where I said I was going to start a new project. So let me go and select a new song and click uh, empty song. So start clean. There you go. Now, now it looks like it's in pretty much a sync there. So I think we're good to go there. Um, and um, as you can see, the um, screen capture uh, image is sitting on top of the the uh, normal video, the sizing and uh, aspect ratio is slightly off, uh, but we can fix that. So let me see here. Select a new song. So let's say I'm going to show me selecting a new song. I'm going to split this again here, and then I'm going to let this oh. run and, and click uh, empty song. So start clean. There you go. Now there you go, right there. I'm going to go ahead and move back from the screen capture image here to the normal video. So I'm going to go ahead and split this again. And then now I'm going to delete this section here, uh, there. So it just shows that. So let's see what we've just done here. And use the control blade and also the audio section. So let me go ahead and select a new song and click uh, empty song. So start clean. There you go. Now, uh, real quick on this video, it's uh, pretty. So there you go, and uh, that's done that already. So let me go ahead and, and control blade, and also the audio. Section. Do this so here. Select a new song, and click. Now I talked for a while so here. A lot of people uh, who are going to watch this who've never made a beat using a keyboard production station or a DAW software. Um, so, uh, for those of you who know how to make beats already, please bear with us um, as we do more videos in the series. So it gets uh, progressively more uh, advanced. And uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and start here. The sounds we have are on. All right, so I probably want to start oh. somewhere here. Now, uh, real quick on this video, it's uh, pretty basic um, because we're assuming there's a lot of people uh, who are going to watch this who've never made a beat using a keyboard production station. Now, all I'm doing here is moving my hands around, so, so it's not really exciting. Uh, if I had a shot of me talking, um, I would go ahead and switch it back to that, so but I think we're just going to leave it on the uh, screen capture. Anyway, so let's go ahead and start here. The sounds we have are on the right-hand side. There's uh, 5,000 sounds and effects that we include. You can add more, anything that runs on Windows 7. Um, and uh, let's start with the drum kit. Here is a... Uh, so just to kind of show you, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and cut it arbitrarily here um, and uh, split it again and take this section out, uh, delete here. So what we really have is this now, control blade and also the audio section. So let me go and select a new song and click uh, empty song. So start clean. There you go. Now, uh, real quick on this video, it's uh, pretty basic um, because we're assuming that. So as you can see, um, once you have things lined up, it's just snipping here and cutting there and, and substituting the various video. And if you have audio, uh, multiple audio tracks back and forth. So that's the basics of video editing. Now, what I can also show you is um, some other cool stuff. For example, um, I want to go ahead and say add the typical music computing header for videos. Now, I'm sitting down here in my studio on the first floor and you know we've got servers all over um, the uh, office here and uh, I'm gonna need the video section from it, uh, from the uh, image from that. Now, I don't have it on this 
uh, control blade, but I have it on one of our servers. So this is where it comes into play of the convenience of what this is, is. I can go ahead and click on computer here. And when I move it up here so you can see this. This is um, the control blade when I click computer. I can hit network here. And remember, the control blades have Wi-Fi built into it. So I'm actually online with my network here, my wireless network, and also the internet. Here's all our servers. And I'm going to go to the not sure server and go to the C drive. Again, this is all wireless. And go to my section here where I have video assets. And there are the two pieces that I need. Here is the um, video header image. I'm just going to drag this right down here. And there you go. So I've got now this image I need. And then I'm also going to grab another one, which is the image for um, the uh, title of this video. I'm going to drag this here also. So as you can see, didn't even have to get out of my chair. Servers out somewhere else. It could be here in the building. It could be across the world through the Wi-Fi that's built in. I'm able to grab files back and forth and do whatever I want. So what I need to do is select this or select basically all of it and scoot this back. And then what I can do is take this header image, stick it in front here that I know I want, and then the other one, uh, which is here, and stick it right behind it. And I can adjust the length of everything in a second here. But I'll give you an idea of what's happening. So now if I go back to the beginning here, um, select all, scoot this all back to the beginning of the timeline. Let me come and play. Uh, what we've just done uh, here. So there is the opening title uh, screen. And the next one that comes up is Control Blade, How to Make a Beat, number one. And then as we go, it'll kick into OK, so let me go ahead and the video. The, uh, the video. Now, if I wanted to get a little fancy and kind of blend them together here, I can do that simply by selecting this and going, uh, let's blend it uh, this way some and blend it this way some. Let's try and see what that looks like. OK, so let me go ahead and far So it kind of slowly fades in, so it's not such a quick jump at your face of okay, the video. OK, so let me go ahead and far up the. So there you go. Basic video editing uh, using the control blade. And uh, I hope you can see that it's a whole new world. And this one instrument uh, will let you make and create video and audio and music uh, to your heart's content. So anyways, great value, $16.99 based uh, price for this. And um, so that's the uh, control blade. Check for other videos from us. Uh, we'll be doing more cool stuff. And uh, thank you so much for watching again.